I'm providing this video to show how to run a Python script from the command line for any of you who've only run Python from the IDE or from idle inside of Windows maybe and so this is to show how to do it from a Unix perspective. So down here at the bottom we have the command line that we're going to be running and up here is the program that we're going to be running. The first thing that any Python script needs is the shebang, the hash exclamation point. Easier to say shebang so we'll stick with that. After that we need to tell the operating system what program we want to use to run our code. And so if we go um, to the command line and run which Python we'll see that Python is in user bin Python. So we need to go back here and put user bin Python. That just tells the operating system, hey, when you see this file here, go ahead and run Python to run our code. And then it's simple as just putting our normal Python code here. So I'm going to put in our super simple hello world program that we always like to see here. And I'm going to save this as hello dot py for Python. And when I save that, we can look and we can see that hello.py is right here. However, we're not quite done because if we try to run that script, we get a permission denied error because by default, the permissions on that file are as a normal text file. We can read it, we can write it. But why would you ever execute a text file by default? And so we need to tell the operating system that this is an executable file. So the easiest way to do that is with our chmod file, add execution permissions to our hello. And now we can see that our command line has marked it with a star and also a different color which corresponds to the fact that these are now executable. And then we can run it. And it does exactly what we want. So when we run a Python program from command line, the other option would be we could do this and it works. But the shebang is a nice way to encapsulate that especially if you're trying to provide a program to someone who doesn't need to know that this is a Python program. All they need to know is that they run it and so they can type it on the command line, they can click it in a file browser if it knows to execute the uh, programs and, and so forth. So this is how we run Python programs from the command line.